Hello, guys. Welcome. This is the fan reaction of the game just gone. Spurs, Royal Antwerp. We've got myself, Sam Spurs, and we've got Mike, also a Spurs fan. And we're going to discuss the game. So, first things first, make sure you all hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all the rest of it. We want to get them numbers up. <sighs> Mike, tell me about the game. What's your thoughts? I... <sighs> We got the job done. That I think that's basically uh, as simple as uh, I suppose as I, can, as I can put it. Um, it wasn't a performance that we. It's not a performance that we can be uh, happy about as such. But it, again, it's another clean sheet, and it's it, we, we won the league. We won the, the the group, and we're through to the knockout stages. I, I, that's yeah. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts, really. Um, I don't think we can take too much away from it. Antwerp played... They, they played well out from the back. Their keeper was very confident. Um, probably took too many risks that I personally want to see heart taken. Um, but Antwerp played quite well out from the back under pressure. Um, but in that sort of way, in our half, they didn't have they didn't have much going for them in, in, in our half. And we were quite comfortable, but... We just, in the Europa games, we just look a little bit, just going through the motions. It's not, it's completely different to how we, we're performing in the, prim, in the Premier League. So, yeah, I don't think we can take too much away from it. Um, there was a couple of performances, like Mora looked busy. Um, Bale's free kick, which obviously um, worked for the goal. Um yeah, it was a little bit sort of, uh, yeah. <laughs> you're, the, I, I, you're, the, you're the same as me, you're struggling. I'm, I'm struggling, struggling. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, um, like I said, for me, Antwerp looked like they came here to get a draw. Obviously, they were the top of the yeah. group had they got a draw. We needed to win. We put out a team, obviously, in my opinion, that's good enough to win, and they did yeah. win. So, mm. take heart from that. But, the thing that we've got to have the butts about, from my opinion, is that he's had to bring on his big guns. He's brought on oh. his big guns. And what kind of message is that going to send to some of them other players? So like Bale possibly might start at the weekend, but Vinicius ain't going to start at the weekend. Nah. He's definitely not. Harry Winks, he's not going to start at the weekend. Nah. So you've got people who low on confidence. They're going to be low on confidence. I could see like Harry Winks' face as soon as he came off. You could see he wasn't, he weren't happy. Went off straight yeah. down the tunnel. Is he injured? Yeah. Don't think so. It was um, a and typical Jose thing. Go on. Yeah. Let you have your yeah no, I was just going to say, and I don't get why he took bail off. Like the free kick, great free kick. And the keeper did very well to, to get to that. Um, but as soon as we got that goal, Marino's looking to make changes. Like, if Bale's not featuring at the weekend, he should have given him 90 minutes because Bale still doesn't look like he's hitting hit, or firing on all cylinders. He looks like he's still a little bit sort of lacking in match fitness. Um, he's not sharp. You can it's obvious. You can you can see it there. So this is the sort of perfect game that would be that be ideal to give him the ninety minutes. Same as Harry Winks. Harry Winks, I think he's a great little player. I know there's other people fans who who think Harry should probably be moving like moving on, but I I think. He's just low on confidence. And I think that's down to the fact he's not getting much game time. Um, yeah. And these these Europa League games are a perfect scenario for him to get that game time that he needs to get his match fitness up, to get the sharpness up, and, and obviously to, to keep that confidence high. Um, but I, I just, I don't know. I just felt the changes. That I, yeah, I just don't think the changes were necessary. I, I don't even think Harry Kane, I know he set up the second goal. Um, for us, but I think we look comfortable, even at one nil. I don't think I just don't think we needed to make those changes. Um, I know yeah. Mourinho's probably in his um, in his conference saying that he wanted to sort of sharp shop and uh, put the pressure on to get the second goal. But yeah, I um, yeah, we've got a few comments coming through. Some some chats in here. Yeah, solo one nine seven nine Herlock. Good evening, guys. Adam Morris. Evening, lads. Evening to you all. Um, yeah, 
what it is for me, like I said, Joe Hart had a bit of a stinker last week. Probably oh. culpable for all three goals he started again tonight. Now, he's giving confidence to him. Mm. And there's other players in the squad that I think need a lot of confidence. You've got the likes of, as we've talked about already, Vinicius. He's only just arrived in this country. He's given yeah. this like big thing, you're back up to Kane, but he's a good player. You can see he's, he's done mm. a few things already. You know, you've got Harry Winks, who, who clearly can play because he plays for yeah. England. He's a starter for England. Um, but he's going to find it hard to get into that team playing in the yeah. in the league against someone like Horbier. Um, Sissoko is going to make sure that they're going to be playing every week, week in, week out yeah. in the Premier League. And yeah. these are the games, considering this is now the last game of the, the Europa League group stages. We ain't going to be playing this now until next year. Is it January, February, when yeah. we start back? back time, isn't it? So when are these guys going to play? You know, we've got yeah. December, we've got... We've got our uh, game against Stoke, which will be the quarterfinals. I can't see Jose taking any risks with that sort of game. Um, no. Then you have the FA Cup in January. Yeah. Maybe he might start somebody, start a few in them. But a lot of these players are not going to get any game time. So, no. although I'm like obviously happy we've won and we've gone through as group winners and all the rest of it, it's like these players yeah. need time. And Jose is well known for. I wouldn't say at this moment alienating them, but he's certainly giving us clear indications that these guys are not his first choice. And to yeah. make five substitutions in a game where you're winning 2 0, although we weren't winning 2 0 at the time, but to make five substitutions just shows me that some of these guys aren't going to get much time. And how is that going to develop <laughs> once, you know, if, and I hope it's not a big if, but yeah. the likes of Kane or Son might get injured. You're going to need to rely on a couple of these players, so yeah. you know. It's like... I mean, and they, really and truly, from from our sort of Premier League form, the only way some of these lads are going to get into the team is, is via injuries, or if we've got like we had earlier in the season where we had like three games in a week, then he's going to have to rotate it, but. In order to rotate it, and obviously to keep the same sort of levels of performance that we have been. Um, seeing over the past few weeks, those players need to be getting the game time that they're not getting, other than what's in, other than what they're getting in Europa. So, yeah, it's, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. Like, I mean, I know Joe Hart. He had a bit of a shocker last week, um, and I think it probably. And it's, I suppose, from Marino's perspective, at least he's giving him a second chance, but. What's Gazaniga got to do to to get a game? Um, I don't think he is, mate. To be honest with you, I think that Gazaniga is probably likely to go at some point, although we need a third keeper. But uh, who was it? I can't remember his name, but the, the, the young kid that we played. Alf it, is it Alfie Whiteman? That's all right. So he came on. He came on as a bit of a sub in one yeah. of the games, didn't he? Uh, replaced Joe Hart. So, you know, it looks like Jose's made his decisions about the keepers already. Uh, he wants, and I can understand why he wants Joe Hart in the team. We've got some comments saying Joe Hart is yeah. a top keeper. And we've got to remember he has a Premier League winner's medal and that will give the team around him confidence. And I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. But there's players in there that I think have to be playing in these so-called lesser games. If they're yeah. not, it's going to be a little bit of a problem if some of our big players get injured. I don't yeah. want to see the likes of Kane, Son, Hoybier, Sissoko, yeah get injured but if no. they do and the likelihood is somebody's going to get suspended somebody's going to miss a game or two you have to rely on these players and Deli Ali not even getting a game uh, at all yeah what's he gone. got to do to get a game I mean there's got something that must have happened behind the scenes either Mourinho thinks he's a poor trainer or they've had some sort of bust up that we're not privy to um because I mean, again, this is a perfect... If he's low on confidence, this is the perfect game for him to be starting to, to build his confidence up um, to, to help him get back into the first team, which we all know he's good enough to be in. Um, I, yeah, it's a, I don't, it's a weird one. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if there's been some sort of bust up behind the scenes and... Um, Delhi may have thrown his toys out, or Marino's thrown his toys out, and teaching Delhi a bit of a lesson. Um, typical but, Jose. In typical Jose, Jose that, yeah, because yeah. he was like that with Luke Shaw, wasn't he? Yeah, at, when he was definitely. at Man United. So he's got a he has got a bit of a a, a habit of singling out players. 
yeah. um, if, they, if he doesn't think they're performing or hitting the, the sort of heights the rest of the team are. So, I don't know. I, I hope I hope Dele Alli doesn't get sold um, or I hope he doesn't move on, even if it's a loan. I, I hope he sort of sticks out and shows everyone what he is capable of because he is a top player. Definitely um, top player. I agree with you. Yeah. I hope he don't go. Another comment no. in here. Are you boys worried about a burnout because of the lack of experience, squad depth? Um, I don't think we've got a lack of squad depth. I think we've got a good squad depth. Yeah. Maybe a lack of winners in the actual squad. Yeah, I can agree with that. But certainly, I think we've got one of the deepest squads in the Prem, certainly, yeah. you know, in Europe. Um, but it's all about confidence. It's all about these guys yeah. playing, getting game time. Like I said, we've mentioned it before. Um, Jose is known and he's got form oh. for this type of behaviour. And yeah. we, again, we might be getting a bit too far on him because we won the game. It's proved that, you know, these players are better than the ones that started. They've come on, yeah. they've changed the game. We've won the game 2-0. We can now look forward to the game of the weekend. We've topped the group. We're going to be hopefully not playing against one of them top sides <laughs> that come down from yeah. the, the Champions League. But it's always a but with Spurs. It's always yeah. this cut. You know what I mean? Because we don't want to we don't want to go into next year, January, go through all the Christmas period, be in and around that top area, and then something kind of derails yeah. us. Because you know, yeah. it could quite easily go pear-shaped. If I, it's, I think the key the key factor is Mourinho's game management and, and how he manages the players, um, how he manages rotation. Because we've got the depth now. Um, I know there's, there's probably people who think Tottenham's depth is questionable, but I think we had one of the best transfer um, one of the best transfer windows I've ever seen whilst being a Tottenham fan. And that has given us the added sort of depth and the strength that we've needed um, where, we, where it's been missing previously. So I don't think burnout is too much of an issue because we can rotate the squad um, and uh, and we've got the players that can come in and do the job and, and do a very good job. But yeah, it depends on what Mourinho's, I suppose, what his priorities are for this season, because um, there's no, because I don't know if you've noticed, but after we've sort of won the game and kept a clean sheet, it, Mourinho's smiling. He's got that little, he's got that. It looks like he's got that buzzer back yeah. a, about him. Um, he's, he's got that Mourinho smirk on. He's him, got right? that smirk. Yeah, I'm better, I'm better than you. I'm better than everybody else. <laughs> yeah, when he's got that smirk, you know he's quietly confident. Um, that the team that he's got or the squad that he's got can do can do things, um, and he must be looking at this league this season, thinking uh, if Tottenham are ever going to win a league, potentially this is this is it because all the big teams are taking points off off each other, um, albeit. Well, touch wood. That isn't that the case with Tottenham. We're we're sort of unbeaten and taking the points off the big boys, but. I don't know. I'm I'm quite confident. Um, I'm even quite confident about this Europa, uh, the Europa League. Yeah, I, I, I think I think if we're lucky with the draws uh, and lucky with the fixtures, because it will pile up um, as the season goes goes on, and if we continue to progress in each of the competitions, let's say the the, the fixtures will pile up for us. But there's no reason why we can't get silverware this year I'm, I'm more confident this year than i was last year um yeah, I agree. so it can only be positives yeah We've got another comment comment here from solo 1979 i'll take deli ali at night any day well you can have him but you're gonna have to pay 40 or 50 million for him but even that i don't yeah. know if we're gonna get him sold for that sort of money but let's talk about the game um what did you think of bell's free kick and vinicius's finish great free kick uh, I was. I thought initially. I thought, oh, Gar Gareth's lining up for this. I thought it was a bit too far out, um, but he hit the target, made the keeper work, and we scored from it. So, yeah, I, and and this is where I was a little bit like, oh, why have you taken him off after that? Keep him on. His confidence is it, it must have done wonders for his confidence after he's hit that free kick um, in the to result in a in a goal. But yeah, I just don't. As I say, the 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 sub the substitution of him, yeah, I would have kept him on, given ninety minutes, would have done wonders for him. Yeah, so so look, you could see that Harry Kane has already started to to strip off. He was going to come on, 
and the likelihood is he was probably going to come off Vinicius because yeah. he wasn't doing as much as probably Jose wanted him to do. Bale, I don't know. It's it's like, are we expecting the bail from, you know, seven years ago? We're not mm. going to see that player. We're not even going to see the player that was at Real Madrid. He's not been no. playing competitively for, what, about a year? So, yeah. you know, if we are thinking that we're going to see this guy flying down the wings, Jose's got a format of playing. He wants somebody to be able to do that job going forward, but also work yeah. as hard getting back. And yeah. Gareth Bell, as much as he's talented, as much as he's got all that ability... I can't see him doing that work. You know, it's just, I just don't know if he wants to do it or, and if it's in him to do it. So, you know, he's yeah. going to rely on people like Bergwijn to do that, Mora to do that sort of job. Son is definitely going to do that. If you've got Son mm -hmm. and Kane who are willing to put in that effort 100% yeah. every week, there's no excuse for anybody else. No. No, no excuse. Yeah, no, I, our best players. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Um, and it might be that, Going forward, Gareth has a uh, he has a different um, role to play in the team because um, I mean look at Bergwijn, um, like you say, Son, um, Lucas Moura, those boys have got a lot of energy. Um, they've got legs, um, and they're obviously much, they're, they're, their their fitness levels are, are much higher at, at present than than Bale's. Um, so uh, it might be that that Mourinho ends up giving potentially Bale a different role in the team. Maybe, I mean, he did it when he was at Tottenham at the first time, um, when he was at Spurs the first time round, uh, where he, he quite often used to see him just drifting in behind the striker. Yeah. Um, in that, almost in that number 10 role. Yeah. So there's no reason why Bale can't do that. Um, but I suppose time will tell. Um, it's it's still early days for, for, for yeah. Bale. It's still early days for him. I think this. I think systems are going to be quite key for Gareth Bale. For me, if if he was to play, let's say a three-five-two system, I could see uh, a Bale and a, a a Kane up front. You know, but then yeah. how do you fit Son into that team in that sort of system? You can't really, can you? Mm -hmm. And you think of a three-four-three or a three kind of four-one-two sort of system. It's kind of like playing with our. You know, it kind of messes with how Jose wants to set up. He's got yeah. a very rigid style. And yeah. like that's why Deli Ali doesn't quite fit. Although yeah. you know he can, he's got the talent, but he doesn't have that. Maybe he's not seen enough in training. Um, yeah, I think Bale's gonna probably give us something additional, but I think he's gonna be more of a a twenty minute, maybe a twenty five yeah. minute. But he's gonna come on and change something for us. Um, yeah. Lacelso's goal. Tell me about Lacelso. How do you think he played tonight? I thought he had a good game. Actually, I thought he was busy. Um, I've always liked him since the day he came to Spurs. Um, there's something about him that we haven't got from the other midfielders. Um, and he was all over the pitch, I thought. I, I thought, actually, he, he was, yeah, he was probably our man in the match. Um, I thought he was literally everywhere. Um, and, and I think he's one of the players that arguably should be knocking on the door for the first team more often than, than what he has been. Um, I think he's just been unfortunate, probably, just with the style of of play um, that Mourinho set us up for. But I mean, again, that might change when we're playing the the teams that we should be controlling um, the, the game itself. That might be where Mourinho uses him more often um, than he has done um, so far. So uh, I think he had a good game, as I say. Um, I think there's more from him. Um, he took his goal well. Nice, nice finish. Um, he, and he deserved the goal, to be fair, from the performance that he put in tonight. I think, he, as I say, he was one of the busier players. Um, uh, and, yeah, I, I like him. I, I, I really do like him as a footballer. Um, he's an intelligent footballer. Um, and, as I say, he just gives us something uh, that the other midfielders don't possess. Um, yeah, so sorry to cut you off there. I was going to say, right. yeah, the self so has got everything I think to make a very good midfielder. He's got that yeah. vision, he's got that work ethic. You can see he wants to track back, he puts a tackle in, yeah, he's everything that Jose wants. Um, but you've got ahead of him, I would say, at the moment in time, you've got Hoybe ahead of him because Hoybe mm. is just probably our best player um, uh, yeah, yeah. alongside yeah. Son and Kane. 
Um, you've got Sissoko, whose work ethic at the moment is something that, you know, I've seen improved even under Jose. You know, he's getting around the uh -huh. pitch, he's filling in space, yeah. he's doing everything that's asked and required of him. Um, so how do you fit him in if you've then got Ndombele as well? You know, so you've got those three who uh -huh. at this moment in time look like they're kind of commanding that central area for us. Um, yeah. I would love to see Hoybier play. I'd love to see Ndombele play alongside the cell. So maybe in a one-two formation in that centre midfield. But that's not a Jose kind of formation. It's not that, you know, nah. I don't see him doing that against the top teams. I don't even see him doing that against the, the lesser teams, to be honest with you. But um Yeah. And that'd be interesting to see how he sets us up against the lesser teams because mm. I mean, arguably you uh, we can't be setting up to, to go on the counter-attack against these lesser teams because that's what they're going to be doing to us. So uh, we've got to change our whole style of play against these lesser teams because we've got to take the game to them and we've got to control it. We've got to find, um, I suppose, cr find and create the chances for the likes of Kane, Sun, etc. So Mourinho, I hope Mourinho's got a plan B for, for these games that will be coming up. Um, I, I hope so as well. Because well. otherwise, it's going to be quite painful to watch. Um, yeah, I, I pray he's got a plan B. <laughs> so another comment here. Another comment, sorry. Who do you think are favourites to win the Europa League? Not Man United, that's a fact. <laughs> um, Arsenal, they've won six of their games. They're, they're yeah, flying. They're, they're flying. They're a great team. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen who they played? Let's not start. Yeah. Let's not start on it. Yeah, let's not start on that. Yeah. Let's start that um, another time. <laughs> I don't. Who do I think? No. Of, oh, I don't really know. Who's come down from, from the Champions League? Uh, yeah, I know I you've got Man United. Shakhtar Donetsk is definitely one of them as well, I've heard. Uh, I need to go and check. I haven't done my research yeah. on that. I'm not bothered. To, if I'm honest, as long as people like Real Madrid weren't there, I, I won't really bothered about anybody else. I mean, You've got to play somebody. You've got to play them all. If you're going to win that thing, you've got to play the best. So, I mean, I, I don't know if Atletico Madrid, are they are they in Europa? Have they dropped down? I hope not. No, they're, they're, if they've dropped down, they're the, they're the team I would be worried about. But... Anybody out there, put some comments yeah. out there to let us know if, if Atletico have dropped down, because that might change my opinion about us winning this thing if they're in there, because I think they're decent. I really do. Yeah. They're, they're that sort of team. He's in Simeone. That's a mini Jose right there. Yeah. Everything about yeah. him just strikes me as like Jose at 30 years of age. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? That's, oh. It just looks like it. Yeah. So. I mean, and in, in going back to Adam's question, oh. I'm not worried about any of the Italian teams. Um, no. but, but there's not an Italian team that I'm concerned about. No. Um, any of the English teams? Again, with the teams that we know that are in there, i.e. Arsenal, Man United. You've got Leicester in there as well. You know, you Leicester. Know, so we've yeah. Got, we've got teams, but they're all beatable. We're top of the league. I'll yeah. put that out there again for all you watching. We are top of the league, so <laughs> we should not be scared of anybody. And I don't, I don't yeah. have that fear about any teams. What I, as I said, as we mentioned earlier, my only fear is going deeper into the season when we will pick up suspensions, when we will pick up injuries yeah. to key players, is how we maintain that level of confidence for all the periphery, those on the sidelines, those not playing all the time, to just then draft them yeah. into a massive game if someone does get injured the game before. You know, they, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just have to look at Liverpool. I mean, how many injuries have they've got? Yeah, the players that have come in are, are doing the job. They're all firing on the same. All, they're all singing on the same hymn sheet. Um, they're getting the results. Okay, they may have drew the other day, but I think they'd won that group anyway, so it didn't really matter. But yeah. I mean, if Tottenham can can keep a happy squad then we stand a good fighting chance of of doing good things this season. And I think that's what would be key is keeping that squad motivated, keeping them happy, getting them the game time as and when we can. Um, and, and yeah, we should be okay. There should be no reason why this squad can't, can't do things. Um, so we've got a comment. Atletico are through to the knockout. So they're in the yeah. Champions League round of 16. We don't have to worry about them. We don't which have to is worry good. about them. Yeah. So let's just try and wrap this up, get a bit of a summary. Um, let's give, what do you give the team out of 10 tonight? 
Ooh. I'll give them a six and a half. Um, I don't, yeah, I'll give them a six and a half out of ten. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't a great performance. It wasn't a bad performance, but we, we got the job done, kept a clean sheet. Um, yeah. But that, that, and that is just one of them games today whereby it, it was literally job done through to the next round. And we miss all the sort of the big boys in the, um, in the next round of, of the Europa. And I think we missed the uh, Champions League teams that have dropped out as well. Cause I think, cause we win the group, we miss them. So yeah. Six and a half. I'll go seven. Just seven. For fact, yeah. Just for the fact that we won two nil, kept a clean sheet. Um, at the end of the day, keeping a clean sheet is important. I think it gives certainly defence confidence. Just a, yeah. just the one thing on the defence. Davinson Sanchez, for me, I, I, I just don't think he's good enough to be in, in our team, our squad. Um, he's all over the place. I've seen him a few yeah. times now. His defensive positioning is terrible. I've been talking to yeah. my son about him. And we paid, what, 40-odd million for him? He's not worth 40-odd million. Mm. I think, do you know, with the back four, um, more probably, uh, well, no, in fact, I'll probably include all the back four, including tonight's back four and and the team um, that normally, the back four that normally plays in the Premier League. Mm. Our distribution at times is dreadful. Um, like Eric Dyer, when he played, when we played against Arsenal, his distribution was appalling at times. Um and it, and it just brought on pressure, un, unnecessary pressure to us. And and Sanchez was the same tonight. The amount of times he was, his decision making, like where he could have just played it easy back to Joe Hart, he's then sort of knocking a ball, a Hollywood pass, and it's going out to touch. And it, mm. uh, yeah, it, and it's not just him. There's other players as well. Whereby they, I don't know if it's their, well, it is their decision making because the decisions on, on where they're making the passes. Uh, I mean, the part they're passing occasionally to uh, on a couple of times. I can't remember who it was. I think Bergwijn might have been one, and Sanchez played a pass into him, but he had the man literally touching his touching his shoulder. Mm. Um, and uh, he, I know it was Mora, Lucas Mora, passed it to him. Mora doesn't want it there, um, he, and he, you could see that when he made the pass back first time, and it didn't it didn't even get back to to Sanchez's feet. He had to go run for it. So. I don't know, maybe it's something they need to work on in the training ground, distribution. Um, because, I mean, apart from Toby, uh, Dyer, um, Aurea's decision-making and distribution can be can be questionable. Um, yeah, I think distribution for the back line is something that they need to work on quite quite a bit. Um, yeah. In my words, it's, it's against the better teams. If your passing isn't... If you if your decision making isn't hundred percent and you're not making the right choices, especially in the Premier League, that can lead to goals. Um, so, yeah, it, it, just cut it out. It, just Spurs, just cut it out. Cut the bad pull, balls out. Just keep it simple. Uh, the reason why I'm laughing is look how critical we're being over our team, and we've won two nil tonight. We've topped the group. <laughs> we're top of the the league, and we are going in on them. Not heavily, but we're still going on. This is this yeah. is how much the anticipation is of thinking that we are going to win silverware. And I know people are going to think, <laughs> oh, we're going to be Spursy. But if we don't get the opportunity to win something this season with the manager that we've got and the yeah. squad we've got and the start we've had, then I don't know how we're going to do it. So, again, right. we've got, meaning we've got some more shows coming up. We're going to have a preview show coming up in the, in the next few days. And then we're going to do yeah. post-match reactions as well. Yeah, We will also have some guests. So just to let you folks out, they know we have got some guests coming on and we will try and be unbiased when we're doing unbiased previews on some others. Oh, blimey. Lights have gone out. Probably a good time for them <laughs> to go. Right. Yeah. I think we're going to wrap up. Yeah, cool. All right. So, Mike, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, all the viewers, and we'll see you again soon. Keep posted and keep subscribing, as I said, like, comments, share, all this thing, FTB Sports. Thank you, Mike. See you again soon. See you, mate. Cheers, Shane.